Well, today's Wednesday. It is the 24th of May, 2023, and we're on our travels again. So here we are at Palmer Airport. We, uh, we came on the bus, no problems at all. We have to catch two buses and uh, it all worked very, very smoothly. Uh, early flight, well, fairly early, our flight's at 10.40. So the first place we come to and have a look and check in is the, uh, the board up there. And we just find our flight, which is it's an EasyJet flight going off to, uh, to Gatwick. And it tells us that we have to check in at, um, our bags have to go to 80 to 85. So that's just a little walk down here. <clears throat> uh, one recommendation is come early. Make, give yourself plenty of time, otherwise it becomes stressful. And the queue for bag drop-off, so we've printed out our boarding passes at home. We have those in our hand, we just got them. But this is the queue before you get to the zigzaggy bit. So it's quite a long queue just to start off with. Um, it actually worked quite well for us, not too long a wait. Once you've checked in, you'll get your uh, little sticker that says you've checked your bag in and uh, we then go up where we have to go through security so that happens to be the easy jet queue normally we don't check bags in we normally travel very light so we have a wheelie bag and a little rucksack and that will do for us but on this particular trip we, we needed to bring a few extra things we're going to a wedding and so um, we've checked a bag in I'll check two bags in Right, once we get to the top, you can go right or left. Um, it tells us that if we go left, it's eight minutes. It doesn't give us the option to go right. And uh, we come down here to the, where we go through the security. Uh, going through security, you're gonna have to remove anything that's metal. Um, so things like watches and belts, and uh, sometimes shoes. Uh, Anita has a particular problem with some of the shoes she has to remove. Um, and then uh, for me it's things like my laptop if you've got a Kindle or other e-reader you have to take those out put them into, the, into a, a box and of course liquids liquids are a pain in the so we don't uh, <laughs> I try not to carry any liquids if you're checking your bag in probably the best thing to do is to put it in there and uh, well a bit different from the last time we travelled there seems to be quite a lot of people going through the security so hopefully we'll be able to speed through there it's an area where you can't film so I'll be turning the camera off very shortly and uh, hopefully get through so see you on the other side well that's us through the security but it was um, it was quite a long queue so it took a bit of time so again just a reminder just make sure you have plenty of time to get through the security and then that brings you into the uh, the duty-free zone where you can buy all your all your duty-free drinks cigarettes perfumes and it is usually attempted at this point but uh, not got a lot of space to carry anything But it is very, very busy. If you are buying duty free, you need to have your boarding pass with you. So if somebody else is holding the boarding passes, uh, you need to get that before you go through because they don't like you not to have it. Uh, I don't know if they'll actually refuse you, but they always do ask for your boarding passes. And then as you move on, you need to look for the next board, which tells you uh, which gate you're going from. Um, if you've arrived early, you probably won't have the gate, but at least tell you which area in the airport to go to, whether it's A, B, C or D. Well, we're going to the UK and all the UK flights at this time of the year go from Terminal A. So you just find your flight, and it simply says for us, Terminal A, and we'll get the gate information in 30 minutes time. You need to get some reading material. We have WH Smiths here, and there are lots of them dotted throughout the airport. So this is the first one. Um, there was actually one where we were checking in as well. And uh, you'll probably find one in each of the terminals as we go through. 
There are places to have coffee here, uh, but there are places once you get to closer to where you're actually going to be departing from. That's what we always do, get closer to the departure area and find somewhere for coffee. One of the uh, things I've seen in the news recently is about Ensaimadas. It's a big store here selling Ensaimadas. Ensaimadas are the typical pastry of Mallorca. And one of the airlines, I think it was EasyJet, were refusing people to bring them on board the plane. They sometimes do come in quite big boxes. So um, there's a bit of a cuffle about that and uh, I'm not sure what stage it's got to. I must say it's not something we would normally take. Some lovely <coughs> pottery here. If you didn't get an opportunity in one of those markets, then uh, you could buy something here, but you're going to pay top dollar. We need to bought some of these for Serena's new house. The alarm's just gone off somewhere behind. So now we have a quite a walk now down to Terminal A and when we get to before we get there we'll have to go through passport control. Um, most others, the Europeans, don't have to go through passport control. Uh, it's uh, one of the benefits of Brexit. has taken the trolley and I'm on the, the moving walkway. <laughs> I think it's running away with you dear. So down here you're going to have to get your passport out and, uh, and if you're not a resident here then they'll stamp it. If you are a resident you need to get your ID card out and uh, then they won't stamp it. Stamping's all about making a, a record of how long you've been in the European Union. So you've got a 90 day rule, 90 days within 180 days, which for most people is plenty of time. But people who travel a lot or people who've got second homes, it's become a bit of an issue. So I'm going to start sorting out our passports and our ID cards, and then we'll uh, see you again on the other side. Well, that was all pretty quick. The uh, electronic scanning of the passports was available. If you have children, you have to go through a different way, but we don't have any children with us, so we just go through electronically scanned our passports. And then as you go a little bit further, there's a, a guard there, police officer, uh, waiting to stamp your passports. And they do like you to have it open, ready on an appropriate page. Well, when we travel, we always like to leave ourselves plenty of time uh, so that we can sit down, relax. And depending on the time of day, we can have a drink. Uh, this time of day, it's even nine o'clock yet in the morning, so we're just going to settle down and have a, a coffee and uh, maybe have some breakfast too. Um, a little bit later on, might even have a beer, but uh, not today, I don't think. Well, Anita's just been and, and bought some coffee and... Uh, some little bocadillos, they're called longwets, and uh, well, that looks very tasty anyway, so that's breakfast for us today. You're always going to pay a little bit of a premium when you uh, go to the, the airport to buy anything, so the coffees were three euros each, that's six euros, and the, uh, the little sandwiches that we've had were a total of 17 euros 80, so that's very expensive for a little sandwich like that. But the curious thing is the top one there, that's um, two cents we've been charged for the, the cups. <laughs> Whatever next, could be Ryanair, couldn't it? Well, we just had a look on the board and uh, our flights up there. And so we've got to make our way to the gate, which is A12. Well, just to add to the adventure, we haven't walked 50 metres and Anita lost her phone. I left it in the toilet. Well, not in the <laughs> toilet, but on the side. And, uh, well, luckily she went back and uh, 
somebody saw her panicking and uh, told her that it had been handed in at one of the desks. And she has her phone. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. That could have been fun, couldn't it? Would have been very quiet for the children, not having WhatsApp messages every 15 seconds. Anyway, we're at gate 12 and it says we're going to Bristol, but we're not. We're going to Gatwick, so uh, we'll have to wait and see. So you'll find lots of displays around the airport that look like this one. And yeah, at 10 o'clock there was a flight that went, or is going, and uh, that was from A12. Ours is a bit lower down, ours is 10.40, and it's the easiest yet to Gatwick, and that is also going from A12. So once the, uh, the passengers have finished departing through to, uh, on the way to Bristol, then uh, we'll be able to join the queue, as it were. So as we walk along, you'll see the very clearly labelled as A12 next to A13, but A12 still says Bristol. So uh, we just sit and wait for a while. The many, many people are already sitting and waiting. Just noticing on the other side, that's where people are, go through arrivals. That's your passport control. And we'll be doing that on our return journey. Is it still working? Yes. Well, nearly time for us to get on the plane. Um, first boarders, the speedy boarders have got on, the children have got on, and uh, well, we're, we're with the rest. I think we've got a wing seat today. Or rear seat, anyway. They did change gates on us. We said we were supposed to originally be going from A12, uh, but now we're going from A16 and uh, we are a little bit delayed, unfortunately. So we just gotta make sure that all this sort of ties in with our train at the other end. So that's not our plane, that's the Jet 2 plane. Ours is just around the corner, that's the easy jet one. Still a bit of a It looks as though we're gonna be 30 minutes at least delayed in taking off. Well, we've managed to find our seats, we're not quite on the track, we're not near enough. Uh, and we're going to leave so we should be leaving very shortly. Let's just have a look at the time. Uh, yeah, it'll be about half an hour later. We're going to Bristol Airport. Bristol Airport, 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 Bristol
seatbelt fast once your belt sign is on. Recommend that you keep your seatbelt fast whenever you are seated. Take care of opening the overhead lockers in case anything falls out. Toilets are located at each end of the cabin. All are fitted with smoke detectors. Smoking is not permitted on board at any time. This includes e-cigarettes. We'd like to introduce you to our e-jet on board, our brand new in-flight digital service. You can access the closely Wi-Fi on your device by connecting to our e-jet on board network and following the instructions on the seat in front of you. Once connected, explore our in-flight brochure, live flight map and play games. We'll shortly be coming through the cabin with our selection of eat and drink. Take a look at what's on offer in the seatbelt menu or in your digital download. So we're off the uh, plane now and we've just got to go to the baggage reclaim. And this must be one of the longest escalators I've ever been on. It just seems to go on, up and up and up. See you at the top. Well, we made it to the top, or more or less.
Well, we went a long way up, now we've got to go a long way down. We're just about to be entering the north terminal at Gatwick. It tells me we've still got about six minutes left to walk until we actually get to the baggage reclaim. So, still a lot of walking to do, get the steps up today. Lisa just said we're almost there. <laughs> I think that meant there's an, almost another corridor. Or maybe where are we going to turn left here actually? Almost there. And another one. Almost there. But not quite. Oh, the electronic system seemed to recognise our faces and we were allowed to proceed. So now we're heading to the baggage reclaim. Now we just have to wait for the bags to arrive. Well, the belt's moving and it just looks to me as though that very first bag is Anita's. Probably mine's going to be the last one. Well, that was absolutely amazing. Our bags were about the first and third ones off. Unbelievable, but it's done. We've got the right bags. I need to found a phone again. <laughs> and we can now go through nothing to do. And you exit through the gift shop. Did you forget something? And through the exit. Well, we, uh, we managed to get to the railway station. To do that, we had to get on a little shuttle train, which brought us very quickly to the, the railway station, station, which is in the south terminal. And uh, we've made it all in good time, so we've got a little bit of time to spare. So we're sitting down and we've got to wait for our train, which leaves in about 20 minutes, is it? 25 minutes? Well, we have now made our way down to the railway station. Um, we're on the platform, but there's nowhere to sit. Luckily, we've only got about five or ten minutes to wait. That's not our train. All right, it looks as though the train's about three minutes, four minutes delayed. But, uh, should be here in the next uh, two or three minutes, That's we it. hope. Here it comes and we've got to be at the front. Arundel, Ford, Barnum and Cogna Regis should be travelling in the rear four coaches of the train. Well, we can relax a bit now because we're on the train and uh, we've got an hour and a half or so on the train to get us to Fairham. Um, 